I think that uh, when a patient has gone through a very difficult bout with cancer and has been lucky enough to come out on a positive end at the end of their therapy, that uh, they ought to think about quality of life, uh, positive lifestyle choices. They ought to be eating well. They ought to try to uh, uh, eat more fruits and vegetables. They ought to try to exercise as much as they can. They should avoid too much alcohol. They shouldn't smoke. Uh, and they should find ways to reduce stresses in their lives if they are in stressful positions. Uh, if they are uh, back to work, they ought to think about taking uh, periodic vacations. All those things are good for your overall health, good for your mental stability, and, uh, and help uh, promote longevity. So those things are pretty routine for my patients. You know, lifestyle, diet, exercise, clean, good living makes, it makes a big difference. When you're done with your treatment, you get back to your routine. You ought to have routine preventative care. That includes getting the appropriate immunizations when they're due. Annual flu shots are recommended for anybody over a certain age in this country. Uh, you ought to make sure your pneumonia shot's up to date if, in fact, you're up for that. If you're a person over 60, you ought to be getting a shingle shot, which helps protect you against shingles. You ought to get periodically colonoscopies if, you know, until your doctor says you don't need them. If you're a woman, you ought to be getting routine mammography. And, uh, and, uh, and regular, uh, uh, you know, examinations of your blood. Look for blood sugar problems. Look for, uh, check your blood pressure. Hypertension is huge as we get older. And just because you beat, beat cancer doesn't mean you don't have other hurdles to, to, to deal with in your life. And you have to sort of make sure you're on top of that. And that is good preventative care.